I saw this Oreo Java chip. Now, it is the new Oreo Java chip. And Oreo has been very daring over the last five or six years, coming out with all kinds of flavored Oreos. As a kid, you had two kinds of Oreos. You had the chocolate Oreos, and then you had the uh, oh, the blonde Oreos, just on the white cookies. That was it. That was your choice. If you didn't, if one was too chocolatey, you had to you had to take one of the blonde ones and put it together with the chocolate ones and eat them together. That, that was your choices. You had no choices. Now they've had all kinds of different ones, and some have not been that good. The caramel coconut, ugh, that was awful. Some of the other flavors were terrible, but they had some blonde uh, Oreo cookies with like lime. That actually was a pretty good one. There was a, an apple one that was pretty good. So I really applaud you, Oreo. Now, <clears throat> what do we have here? This is the Oreo chip, Java chip. You can't really see that much. You can't really see that much with the chip. You. Uh, one thing that really strikes me is that it actually has almost as much filling as the double stuff. So that's pretty good. When you first open the uh, container, it does have an artificial coffee smell. That is actually because of um, the way that they make their extracts. It also smells like a kind of a cheap instant coffee. And uh, so that part isn't that good. I let my uh, worker... A guy who works for me, he got in there and ate half the bag. He did a me big favor because otherwise I'd eat the other half of the bag. But I do applaud Oreo for being adventurous and fun and coming out with lots of options. Uh, there's another one that I wanted to try, which was a, a hazelnut one. A hazelnut chocolate, you know, that's really, um, I forget the name of that hazelnut spread. But that is a really, a really obvious one. Hazelnut always goes well with chocolate. So enough yapping, and now it's time to, to uh, get eaten down the hatch. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess I better eat another one just to be sure. Hmm. Hmm. I'm still not convinced. I better eat another one, just to be sure. Hmm. I know what it needs. It's missing something. That's what it needed. Sorry, guys, I have Oreo teeth. I don't think you want to see that. Maybe you do. Maybe you're a weirdo. All right. <clears throat> I am prepared to talk about Oreos a little bit. And I'm going to tell you some things you may not know about Oreos because I am in the food business. I'm the maker of holy chocolate. So I get samples from all kinds of companies, and I get a chance to see how lots of things are done. It's pretty cool. So let's get back here and view. You'll notice that that is not a chocolate color. Normally, chocolate is brown. This is virtually black. The reason that Oreo cookies don't actually taste like chocolate is because they use a 100% Dutch cocoa powder. I got a sample of the black cocoa powder from Guitar Chocolate. It tasted like butter. It didn't taste like chocolate at all. And, and you could have basically almost eaten it with a spoon, even though it was as black as coal. It really was as black as coal. So you can see how black and dark that cookie is. That is really a dark color cookie, and it doesn't really taste like chocolate. I would prefer, actually, that they put some other cocoa powders in there with the dark color in order to uh, bring the, the flavor out more. But Coke, but the Oreo cookie is an iconic taste, and it tastes great the way it is. It doesn't necessarily need a lot of fixing, but, you know, some fun fillings are kind of like putting a new dress on a great wife or a great girlfriend. Only helps things. <laughs> well... <clears throat> It's a little fun fact about the Oreos for today. And uh, so what are my comments on this? Uh, for the nose, the, the nose on it isn't that great. The flavor, it's fun. You know, I liked it. 
uh, if you like coffee, if you like Java, you're not going to go wrong. If you got a glass of milk, you're definitely going to go right. If you got a, a tankard of coffee like I had, it only gets better. Because I love coffee. Um, I would say that if you like Oreos, this is a buy. This is definitely a buy. So I endorse this. And I am ready to judge. I am the judge, but you are the jury. I, Bishop Stan, your favorite internet food review bishop, give this an A-. minus. Here's what it needed to go to an A. <clears throat> it actually had almost everything it needed to be like a cappuccino. And if they had called it cappuccino chocolate, maybe put a little uh, cinnamon on there or something else. Um, or if they were able to develop the coffee flavor more. It really wasn't coffee flavored enough, but it's still fun. Fun, fun, fun. This is, this is not like serious food. This is fun food. This is food you eat for fun. So based on the funometer, I give it an A minus and a recommended buy. It's hard to get in the A zone with me. I don't give it to everybody, but if you earn it, it's yours. So here you go, Nabisco. A minus. Well, did you like this? Well, share it with a friend. Hit the subscribe. Hit the like. Leave a comment. Did you try it and you think it's horrible? Leave a comment. Do you have a question about it? Leave a comment. Maybe you have a question about cocoa powder in general. Leave a comment. I like to read all your comments. I know that my listeners and my readers are not a bunch of idiots, that there are very intelligent people who are also the most handsome and also the better than the other people leaving comments. Well, that's it. God bless. And remember, stay godly.